Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my all-time favorite dessert. It's called a berry buckle. It's super easy and simple. You can make it in no time. What you do need are fresh berries. Today I'm using a mixture of blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries that came from my garden and the rest you have on hand. Eggs, butter, flour, sugar. Easy as pie or buckle. So let's get started and I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. So I like to begin having all my ingredients out. I've got everything I need, my sugar, eggs, room temp butter, vanilla, salt, flour over there. So pretty much I'm ready to get going and what I'm going to start with is buttering my baking dish. Okay, this is good and buttered and I'm just going to set it aside for now and get ready for the next step which is creaming together the butter and sugar and I'm just going to grab my mixer. All right. Put my softened butter in and one cup of sugar. Go ahead, block it and start. Okay, that looks about right and so I'm gonna add the eggs now. You beat the egg one at a time in until it's fully incorporated. All right, we're ready for our final egg. Okay, this looks good and I'm gonna now add just a teaspoon of vanilla while it's still going. All right, this looks perfect. It has just a little bit of runniness, a little bit of graininess from the sugar and kind of a bright yellow color from the eggs. So, doing a cup of flour and a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, now I'm just gonna whisk this together. All right, this is all incorporated, so now we're ready to uh, add it to our wet mixture, but we wanna add it very slowly while this is running, because you don't want it to clog up at once. Okay, now we're ready to put it into our uh, buttered pan. It's a thick batter, it's not runny but it can still pour in. I'm spreading it into the pan so that it gets to all the corners. And next we are ready to add all of our berries that I've already washed. So we're gonna add two cups to the pan. No, actually oh, closer to three cups. I like to kind of overbury it and just scatter them on top. It doesn't have to look perfect. Okay, smush those about. And we already have the oven preheated to 350. And I'm gonna place it in there and just let it bake for 45 minutes. Um, I do the uh, toothpick test and if it comes out clean, you're ready to go. But start with like aim for 45 minutes. While that's baking, I'm gonna make a very quick whipped cream because I think whipped cream makes everything better. And mine's very simple. I just use a heavy whipping cream and honey, whip it up, super simple. Okay, 45 minutes has elapsed. So this is perfect. The edges are golden and the berries look like they've melted into the buckle, which is exactly what you wanna see. You could leave it as is, cover it with some powdered sugar and bring it over to your neighbor or you can be impatient, like me, and decide to give it a try right now. It just cuts really nicely, and because we buttered the edges so much, it's gonna come out really easily. You can see all the layers of the berries kind of like ran through, and everything is better with a gigantic dollop of whipped cream. It's such a super simple, easy recipe. I love it, and I hope you do too. And if you like this video, please share it, subscribe, and feel free to leave comments. We'd like to know what you're thinking. Thanks so much and enjoy.